Welcome to Sunnyside Journals. I'm Catherine. I have a flip through today of a journal I recently created from a 1965 first edition of A Charlie Brown Christmas. I've made this journal in the style of a keepsake journal or even similar to like the way a scrapbook would be uh, used and uh, it also contains the entire text block of the original story. So let's take a look inside and I'll explain as we go along um, what's in here. I do consider this to be, in my opinion, a junk journal because everything that I've used in this book to recreate it uh, is from repurposed sources, except for the glue and the thread that I used to hand sew the signatures into the text block. Otherwise, all the papers, fabrics, ribbons, trims are all from repurposed sources uh, wherever I can find interesting things. So that could be antique shops, thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, charity shops, you name it. If I can find it and it's been previously loved, those are the materials that I use when I make my journals. So uh, let's do some measuring. It's a big book, which is why I kept it in the spirit of a keepsake journal. It's mostly blank. You're going to be able to fill this book with what you want. So it's eight and a half inches wide, maybe eight and three quarter. And it is uh, eight and a quarter inches long. And then I put a larger spine on it. I actually put a curved hidden hollowback spine on it. And it is, hold on, let's take a look see. I do believe it's not quite two inches. Let me get my shot. There we go, that's better. Not quite two inches. It's a big book now. And the original spine was approximately as thick as how thick a little golden book is. And you'll be able to see that in a minute because I found an interesting way to save the original spine. Even though it was starting to break down a bit, it was still, it still needed to be part of this book. So I've covered the spine with some Christmas fabric. It's holly with some white berries on it. You'll see this little sparkly golden twine. I've added a, a white jingle bell to it. But it's only tied on so if that's not your kind of thing you can just undo this bow and take it off it just slides right through the back through this through where the spine is not attached i have added let's open this up so you can see i've added four more signatures to the book the original book had three signatures that was the story so i've added four blank signatures and interspersed them in between the story are blank signatures that uh, will be be able to be used for um, photos and Christmas cards and Christmas memories, whatever you decide. So let's take a look inside. You'll see here, this is the original end papers. They were still in very good condition. And I just didn't see the point of covering them up because any scrapbooker junk journaler knows that white paper is a wonderful thing to be able to use you can collage on it perhaps you want to use this to have different family members sign their name and date it so you can see how signatures change especially with children um, and it matched the vintage paper that i've used throughout the white paper that you will see throughout this book is from an old vintage photo album that i took apart I bought it from a thrift store mostly because I wanted the glassine paper that was in it. But then when I saw how nice and thick uh, it was and how unspoiled it was, tiny little bit of yellowing around the edge, we like that. <laughs> so I, I knew that someday I would find the right book to be using these spreads in. And then Charlie Brown came along. So you will see some little lines of glue here and there. That's where the glassine paper was attached to it because it was a vintage photo album. Um, these are throughout the book. This is from a really old photo album. 
I'm estimating probably the 1940s. This is the kind of photo album our grandparents used to use where you had to use the little corner tabs to glue your photos into the album and these are throughout the book as well. I forgot to mention um, a little liberty I took with the cover front and back is I added a bit of uh, gold gilding wax just to give it a tiny little bit of sparkle. It really was looking very sad and worn. Uh, it had been well loved by whoever owned this previously and I just thought that that gave it a little bit more sparkle. Uh, it helped camouflage some of the wear and tear on the book but it's never my goal to make to restore a book to looking pristine again. I do enjoy the patina of a book that you can tell it's been previously loved. So it just simply helps to play up on the gold that's in the holly here and you'll see that there's gold that surrounds the title A Charlie Brown Christmas. And it, it goes in with the gold that's here in the trim and the gold that's holding the jingle bell on. So when we look in here you're going to see this little tuck spot right here and that's what I was hinting to when I said I found a way to to save the the original spine that is the original spine from the book it really was just that wide just the center of it I spread it open and opened it up a bit to make it look a bit thicker but it really was just that thick it was about maybe a bit bigger than a quarter of an inch thick and that was just a nice way to incorporate it right there in the beginning I put a tag there so you know what it's for you can put whatever you like in there now you're going to notice right away that there are seven tabs down the side here the black tabs are the blank signatures the red tabs are the story the, the entire story is in here and it's in order and it's still in the original signature folds uh, that it was in the smaller original book. I couldn't find any uh, black polka dot paper in all of my stash. But then I remembered that I had a cover on a Mary Englebright book. <laughs> so that got cut up and used to make tabs for this book. You're also going to see some scrapbook paper in here. That scrapbook paper was gifted to me by two uh, very wonderful, generous subscribers. So you're going to see a little bit of some holiday scrapbook paper, and I think, uh, I think it turned out really nice. So let's do a quick little flip through. Um, it's, it's going to be quiet, <laughs> which is unusual for me, because you'll see the pages are just large and blank and wonderful and waiting to be filled with whatever it is you wish. I've made some journaling tags ahead of time out of off cuts from the scrapbook paper that I used in the book. So they'll start looking familiar to you as we keep flipping through. The black photo album pages were not wide enough to create a full spread. So what I did was I married them up with some more of the paper from the white vintage photo album and I just glued them together and used my um, my scroll cutting blade on my cutting board. Now here we come to our first red tab and this entire signature is the first signature all in order from a Charlie Brown Christmas. And you'll see here I've included especially that page where it says first printing 1965 copyright 1965. I love when you can include that in a junk journal. Another tuck spot here with some more tags that I created. It's all nice, heavy paper, not thin paper. So it'll be able to hold up to whatever it is you want to attach to it. So another red tab. Here's the second signature from the original 
Charlie Brown book where Charlie's feeling very frustrated and sad. Another tuck spot here. I made a couple of tags to go in and then I had a deck of Peanuts playing cards. So I included a couple of those too. And then here's the last signature from the original book where it has its happy ending that everyone loves. So that shows you how, if you want to, you can just skip through the pages that will become your artwork and just read Charles Schultz's story, beloved story of Charlie Brown and his Christmas. Some more tags in a little tuck spot here. At the end here, I've put in another tuck spot and I made a couple of tags out of the old vintage black photo album paper. And then as ever, it's a sunny side journal. So a two Nana's bookmark always goes into a sunny side journal so that's it that's the that's my version of a charlie brown christmas transformed into a keepsake journal i hope you enjoyed this flip through if you're interested in this book uh, it will be for sale in my etsy shop it should be available um, a little bit later on today so if you want to the link is below and you can go over to my Etsy shop and take a look and see if maybe this book is for you. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a great rest of your day.